Hi everybody, so we compared that against that and it was a bit rough and ready but it certainly gave the impression that that worked better and a lot of people pointed out that the test perhaps wasn't as fair as it could have been and they were right it wasn't it was an impression however we do have this this is the latest and greatest popular fan blade the toroidal blade that uh, is supposed to work more efficiently and quieter than a standard blade and i've tested this in a fan and it's certainly quieter so what i thought i'd do is i'd test this with identical one but with tubercles added on because i can print them and can control that so this one is without tubercles and i got it from here and it is basically only four parts there's the Five parts, actually, if I think about it. There's the toroid blade there, there's a foot, there's a cap, there's a body, and then there's this little motor that I got from Amazon that fits right in there. And we can make a toroidal fan without tubercles first. That motor presses into the body, the toroidal fan actually goes onto there like that. It's a little bit of a press fit, but so it should be. And the front will glue on there and the foot will glue on with the wire sticking out. So I've got it on a 3 volt battery, it's linked up in series and we're going to read the amps and see how much speed we get out of the airflow. That was 2 metres a second. So that one without tubercles was about 165 or 166 milliamps and it pushed out about two meters per second on the airflow. Now let's give it a go with this one. This one is the same thing, but it is just got the tubercles added and we'll do the same stuff. We'll set it going, have a read at the amps, measure the wind speed and see what we get out of it. I have to keep pausing this so I can go and see that because I can't see it from my positions. I go and check the numbers. But it was 2.1 meters per second, and I would have said it was sort of 153, 155 milliamp draw while it was running. So it's a lower amp draw. Remember, it's three volts throughout. Lower amp draw, and we've got a slightly higher wind speed from the adding the tubercles. And I added these randomly. I mean, I just put four to each side, really. No, just guess. No idea why. So we got that result from it, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but right when I connected it, we actually had a slightly higher amp draw. That makes me think there's a higher starting torque, but a lower running because of the tubercles, which I thought was really interesting. And it could be why this doesn't actually work very well as a um, wind turbine. I tested this as a wind turbine and it wasn't impressive results. And that could well be why, but under a constant load as a fan, it seems that that's actually brilliant. Uh, it's the toroid shape, incidentally, that doesn't work well as a wind turbine. The, tur the tubercles work brilliantly on a wind turbine. So I have put this on thingy first. Should anybody want to check what I've done, verify what I've done, repeat what I've done, improve what I've done, it's all there for you. Just download the files and print them off and go at it. But it does seem that that makes yet another improvement as a fan on the toroid shape. And, well, it's got to be the ultra fan you were looking for, hasn't it? Lower power, higher wind speed, what more could you want? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.